Well, hello folks out there in YouTube land. Got another big show for you. Oh yeah, FSU calls an emergency board meeting. They are having one tomorrow and this thing's about to get ugly. Yeah, FSU, they're not happy about much of anything right now. They've won every ball game this year. They're not getting in the playoff. We know that. They're still ticked about that. Now they want out of the ACC. They've been wanting out for a while now. So they're calling a special board meeting about that. It's just Florida State folks are just not happy. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. This is on CBS. It says Florida State calls emergency board meeting. Could take first step towards leaving ACC per reports. And all this is done by them being left out of the college football playoff is increased the momentum of that. So they've called a special board meeting for Friday morning. It says there's no formal reason for the emergency meeting. Again, an emergency meeting. But multiple reports say the uh, athletic department is going to talk about their athletic future in the ACC. The board could approve a legal filing against the ACC, which would be the first true step in trying to break the so-called ironclad grant of rights. There, this is through 2036. Why in the world they sign such a long deal makes no sense in sports, in TV rights and all that. You can't do a 20-year deal. That's crazy. It says uh, several ACC members have spent the last year examining the conference grant of rights. Florida State's been the most vocal since it's just a mere weeks since removed from becoming the first undefeated power conference team to be left out of the college football playoff. They were bumped from number three to number five behind one loss, Alabama and Texas, after uh, a poor offensive performance by a third string uh, quarterback. It says the university has publicly acknowledged its desire to explore options outside of the conference. And the reason being they're coming up about $30 million a year short compared to the SEC and the Big Ten. And FSU uh, trustee Drew Weatherford said, it's not a matter of if we leave the ACC, but how and when we leave. It says the ACC has been trying to find more money through what are called success incentives, allowing schools with postseason success to receive a larger piece of the distribution. But this uh, college football playoff snub has really rubbed them the wrong way. And it's going to be very difficult to leave. The ACC's got this, this horrible grant of rights that's 20 years. It says at least seven ACC, ACC schools have looked at procedures for breaking the grant of rights. And it's $120 million just to get out of the TV contract. Plus, there's the grant of rights problem that would be even worse. Then they've got to find a, a conference willing to take them. Obviously, the only two they'd be interested in is Big Ten or SEC. Talks about where would FSU go. Says the ideal landing spot for him be the SEC, I think, obviously. Talks about how the league has established itself as the top dog, etc. Big Ten has been uh, making, uh, making strides, though. Says in-state rival Florida would almost certainly do anything to block FSU from entering the league. Says adding Florida State would be more of a threat than a benefit, both in recruiting and on the field. Florida would not want them in the SEC. I can just go ahead and tell you that would absolutely infuriate them. They can't stand each other. I mean, they, it's like this. So they would definitely try to block them. It says that leaves the Big Ten as a potential or a Hail Mary destination. And one of the reasons the Big Ten might be interested is for recruiting purposes. That could get them down in Florida where there's a ton of great players, as you can imagine. It says if the Big Ten's not interested, they'd uh, be basically an independent, which I don't think that's a good idea at all. And here's another story talking about how uh, they could challenge the ACC grant of rights. Says last May, there were reports Clemson, Florida State, Miami, North Carolina, NC State, Virginia, and Virginia Tech were among the ACC schools exploring how unbreakable the grant of rights deal is. The ACC has also added three new members, which is California, Stanford, and SMU for the 2024 season. Says when I say we have a handle on the grant of rights, we have gotten a lot of counsel on that document. Florida State Board Chairman Peter Collins said last summer that will not be the document that keeps us from taking action. And a big part of this, again, is them getting snubbed like they did by the college football playoff committee, which they think it's over. It's over. Nothing is over. Nothing. You just don't turn it off. It's not over for the Florida State fans. Plus, they're ticked off about being in the ACC. And they've gotten good. Florida State has gotten really good. They had several down years there. But, man, they're back <laughs> playing great. Their defense is amazing. And had they not lost their quarterback, they would probably be one of the favorite teams in the playoff. They're, they're very good. It's just a fact. Now, I can go ahead and tell you that infuriates Florida. They're down there with Billy Napier, and they struggled with recruiting yesterday as what was expected. They've had two losing seasons in a row, and seeing FSU being successful is driving them nuts. But they were glad they got snubbed. I'll just go ahead and tell you, Florida fans shed no tears over that at all. And you've also got 
Ashley Moody, who's the Florida AG, who's uh, performing an investigation about possibly suing the college football playoff committee. And the governor has set aside $1 million for that investigation and or lawsuit. $1 million. So there is so much animosity and anger towards this uh, college football playoff, the four team, which they should have gone to 12 teams. And Greg Sankey told him to do that, said, you're making a mistake. And the ACC commissioner, in his ultimate wisdom, decided that wasn't a good idea, said it just didn't feel like it was time. So he's not a real popular guy around Florida State, that's for sure. So we'll see what comes out of this emergency meeting tomorrow, but I, I don't know what they're going to do, really. And it's really a shame. Had we had the 12-team playoff, which we should have, a lot of this wouldn't be going on, although they still went out of the ACC. You know, it's hard to lose $30 million a year, and it's through 2036. That is forever. Add that up. Take 12 times 30 to 40 million. And it's going to get worse because the SEC is going to re-sign a deal. Big Ten's going to re-sign a deal in coming years, and they're going to get even more money. And Florida State's just going to be over there going nuts. And the same thing for Clemson as well. You know, Clemson's a team that they see the forest for the trees on this. It's really hard when you've got a $30 million shortfall every year against teams you're competing against. So a lot of this is probably going to come to a head this offseason. We'll see if Florida State makes a move. I would think the SEC would take them because they're an awful big name and that'd be a lot of money. But the other problem is ESPN's got this sweetheart deal and ESPN and SEC are tied together. So would the SEC really take them? Tiger, here. keep it fair. Keep it fair. Will you? No, I can't. Exactly. Yes. The politics of this are very difficult. So it might be Big Ten only. I, I tell you, it just it gets real iffy when you start getting a big corporation like ESPN and then you've got the ACC, you've got very unhappy teams, not making enough money, you got this big contract, and it's just, this is going to get ugly. I'll just go ahead and tell you, it's going to get real ugly. And we'll see how this plays out, but um, emergency meeting tomorrow morning. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised if it gets loud in that meeting too. And if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's remember to continue to cover all this NCAA uh, stuff. The SEC, of course, which is the conference I cover the most. But sometimes the Big Ten and anything big like this. And if you've not subscribed, it's on your right, my left. Just hit this little button. It'll help you get my videos, make it a little easier for you. And right over here is the most recent video YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. And we'll see you next time on Sports Talk Jay.